Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So much going on in both, you know, traffic and weather going together. And as you can see, Happening here, temperatures at that freezing mark in Montgomery, a little bit above. But forget about this. This is what it feels like when you step outside. It feels like it's below freezing. So hence the reason why you need to bundle up. Forget the rain, get the snow boots even. Because some areas north and west of the city seeing those snow accumulations as we saw at Cala's live shot there. So it does continue to pick up and the wind chills continue to go down. 21, that's what's going to feel like the 9 o'clock hour today. 23 New York City. Look at that, still 20s as we head into the afternoon hours 23 New York City 31 Islip. Now let me deviate just a quick second. I want to take you to Westchester County just to give you an idea of the snowfall that's coming down. What a beautiful image here. As you can see, this is what we've been dealing with. So some areas, especially grassy surface, it didn't take long for it to stick even on area roads and the crews have been out hard at work trying to clean things up. Now heading back to our maps here, you can kind of see what's happening here on out. We're not out of the woods even for your Saturday with the cold temperatures being reinforced. So what you just saw, what I just showed you there, if there's anything left over, it can turn to ice and that'll be a problem for a lot of folks heading out. So there is that rain snow mix. We have that line just now. It's kind of headed further north of I-95, but we're not completely out of the woods. Not at all. That wraparound moisture will continue area low pressure number one. Then we have that coastal low bringing in some added moisture to the scene here and we have a couple troughs in the area. So here's a look at our future cast. This is what I'm talking about. This is Manhattan right here. This little sliver highlighted in pink. That's rain snow mix. If you're in the Bronx, we have some areas seeing snow and some areas like say Throg's Neck uh, Soundview getting a little bit of that mix. And there you go. That line still coming through very defined at around the noon hour so good chance for some snowfall as we head into the latter part of the day for the evening commute even so jump start your commute very very important early morning showers possible Saturday we dry out and it'll be all sunshine it's going to feel blustery though so here are risks heavy snowfall that's a heavy risk for that a high risk I should say high risk for wind gusts picking up into the 20s 30s even 40s icing as we mentioned here are some power outages possible this is for later on this afternoon highlighted in yellow Putnam County parts of Orange County even Sullivan County rainfall amounts close to two inches in some areas north and west you'll see higher amounts and then you got the snowfall totals. This is our snow map. We get heavy amounts, 10 plus inches if you're in Sullivan, even Pike counties, and then a little bit further south, parts of Sullivan, or rather Sussex County, six to eight, down and toward parts of Morris County. It gets a little less as you head further south. Some areas just plain old rain. That's what we anticipate. There's a look at your seven day forecast. We are tracking more showers for next week as we have our busiest travel day of the year leading into Thanksgiving. Another storm will send it over to Alexa now.